Hi together. Case is a great tool for designing any kind of compressor or turbine volutes for turbochargers and pumps. Setting up such a fully parametric model can be quite a challenge, uh, in particular in the, the tongue region of the volute. And typically we assist our users in small projects to set up their custom volute with all the parameters that they need. In this video I want to show you a very small example of how to create the main surface of a volute where the cross section is a simple circle. The volute shape gets controlled by a function that defines the area distribution in circumferential direction. The basic idea of any intelligent surface shape is our metasurface technology. The first step is to define a single curve with all the, let's say, custom 2D parameters and wrap everything in a feature definition. In the next step we create function graphs or curves for the 2D parameters to have a distribution for each 2D parameter of the section. The curve engine entity of cases links these distributions with the feature definition. And finally we create a meta surface. The surface takes the curve engine and we just have to tell the surface the coordinate system and range of the distributions. In our small demo we just set up a circular cross section where we can control the area and the circumferential location. Okay, so let's start with a parameter for the area. We just set a value for the area and uh, we create another parameter for the uh, radius of the cross-section of the circle and uh, the radius is calculated by means of the area here so, uh, so now we can um, create a circle and set the radius for the circle so there you go there is a our cross section and uh, the next step is that we want to transform this cross section from the origin um, to the right location uh, of the volute which means we have to transform it uh, in x direction first so we enter some values here and we set the transformations and uh, so you can see that it's it's moved uh, along the x-axis we create a parameter for this important um, value it's the the main value of the volute and so yeah, we can change it So the next step is that we want to bring it to the right position or location. So we have to rotate this cross section um, and we create a parameter for this as well. This is called phi here and we rotate along uh, or around the y-axis and we put the two transformations into a chain. So the first one is the um, the transformation in x-direction and the second one is the rotation and then we just replace our first test here with uh, the translation with the chain like the combination of the transformations and yeah now you can see that it moves nicely as we want to have it for our small model Okay, so now we can create our <coughs> our feature definition here. Um, we create it from from selection. So we have uh, the volume section here. This is the name of our feature definition, and uh, this is the the entire uh, command sequence for what we've modeled so far. And uh, all this stuff here we don't need anymore. We just put it into a scope, set this uh, invisible and we just give it a good name. Alright, we create a feature and test whether everything works 
as intended. Change the values here and uh, and the area. So this is now really the feature definition, the definition or yeah, the 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 curve um, that we want to use for the for the bollard surface later on. So the the feature definition itself, you can see this is again the command sequence. And of course, you can uh, still uh, manipulate and uh, use commands here with uh, control space, the auto completion. So all these these commands here uh, that are also visible in the in the object editor, you can use here uh, in the feature definition to edit it uh, if required. Okay, so the next step is that we create uh, like distributions for our parameters which is only the the phi angle and the uh, area of our cross section and we create a curve engine where we link these uh, parameter distributions together with the curve uh, the feature definition all right so i create a curve engine and uh, i'm choosing the the volute section that we've set up and the final transformed section of this definition and we enter the radius of the volute here that we can recycle and for the area we use a constant value for the time being uh, however phi is a or shall be a function that uh, we want to use a, a linear function for this purpose here so the angle distribution uh, runs from 0 to 360 degrees and um, so we maybe we just first create a, a scope for this and then we just link everything here and enter the factor okay so the the last step here for our meta surface is uh, that we actually create the meta surface and we have to specify a range as well so we select the curve engine and we create a meta surface here and you can also see the the range here down below uh, the base positions uh, 0 to 1 and so maybe we increase the resolution a little bit have a, a smoother visualization so far this works quite nice so we just organize our project a little bit so our surface here and now we can uh, change the the constant area and our little donut here um, works quite nice Okay, so the next step is that we want to control the area and for this purpose we create an f-spline curve that's a smooth curve, uh, a 2D curve where you can uh, set the start and end position but also the, the tangent angles uh, for the start and end position so we just set up this, this little function here it's basically this is our function graph for the area so this is what you're seeing here and uh, we can of course also create a, a parameter for this uh, minimum and maximum values so now we got here the maximum value and now the the minimum value as well so and we can uh, also control the, the tangent angles of this curve that's quite nice also for for optimizations and then we just enter this function here instead of the constant value and uh, we also have to scale up the the normalized uh, functions uh, function as well similar to the, the phi angle and uh, there you can see that it's directly transferred to the surface and we can now change the like the maximum and minimum values of this function. So these are the typical candidates for for automated optimizations. 
and also the, the tang tangent angle here to to change the the function graph in the in like in the in the maximum region here. Okay, so the last step is that we want to have a fixed inner diameter of the volute. So here we need to adjust a little bit. So we go back to our feature definition and we enter the the circle radius to the translation of our section. Control space again. Apply everything and go back to the 3D view. So now you can see it's it's nicely aligned. So the the beginning and 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 part of the volute they are nicely aligned to each other. So that's it. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this small video. Um, see you. Bye bye.